We live in a society ruled by social media. We live in a society uh, filled with people who are who are, who have a, who have an ingrained naivete and can't can't um, can't tell the difference between fake and real because reality and fantasy is such a blur in these days and time. And like uh, when it comes to certain people and certain individuals who like to sell, who like to sell, uh, who are known for selling pipe dreams with a side of snake oil on the uh, uh, to to match, like like a lot of these clowns, these these relationship gurus on on on, on social media is really is uh is makes it really no exception or no difference to uh, others who come before them. Well, like um, I know it's right now, um, people are talking about Derek Jackson are in complete in, in complete utter shock that he would cheat on his wife and leave her for some IG model who ain't about Lottie Dunn. Like his uh, his, his his now ex his his soon to be ex wife been with him since he was in college, back back when he was playing college ball and later got injured. Like a long story short, he ended up uh, hopping onto the social media train and do, doing all these uh. These uh, these driver's seat of, of video blogs uh, to t- telling uh, selling women the biggest pot of cock and bull that I ever seen somebody uh, cook up. Tell telling women uh, telling women that if a man don't want to take care of you and your seven kids, uh, that you have seven seven men that he ain't he ain't that he ain't no real man. Saying a man not a real man if he chooses not to get with a single mom or a woman who got a whole bunch of baggage or a woman. Oh, like a, a he 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 was he's into t- a, he was talking about treating treat women like queens who have a hot body count and he was also putting himself out like he was God's gift to women when he was anything but when I when like um I first saw Derek Jackson when I was just when I was looking at the algorithm of videos that were placed before me when like when I was just browsing videos and he was talking about uh ten reasons why you I think one of his videos was called ten reasons why you should date a single mother. So I I let my curiosity get the best of me, and like I I, for, I forgot some of the stuff that he said. But like when I first, but right when I heard the the crap that was coming out of his mouth, I'm like yeah, this dude is full of it. I knew he was full of like the, the very first video I saw of Jerry Jackson. I knew he was full of it. I knew he it still was some at, at the time I really couldn't put my finger on it. But his his but the stuff that came out of his mouth reeked of deception. I know this dude wasn't wasn't living the way he was talking. Like you can you can if you look at some of his some of his known videos that he came out with two three years ago, you can this dude is completely full of shit. Man, man, and I'm thinking like, damn, this like are women actually buying what this clown is selling? Man, man, he was full of it. And then and then a couple of years later, here comes the cheater, um, and he he brings out his wife who looks like she's damaged. Uh, mentally and emotionally, um, um, he, he uh, up there saying he was wrong for cheating and blah 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 blah, and my wife forgave me and yada yada yada, and then, boom, a couple of years later down the road, he's doing it again, and women are still in shock that man, I can't believe a man, I was paying this man millions of dollars, I believe everything that came out of his mouth, and like the jokes on you if you if you believe that shit. Because every video, every video he, uh, every video that he put out where he's he's giving quote unquote relationship advice, he's completely talking out of his ass, and like women fell for what he said hook line and sinker, and like if you believe everything that came out of this dude's mouth, the jokes on you because now now this dude is divorced again. He's now divorced and he's gone. He's ran off with this IG model, which ain't gonna last. He he uh he was telling he was he was basically putting out. This uh, delivery that niggas ain't shit. All these other niggas ain't shit. But I'm God's gift to women. He he made it like he was God's gift to women, but he was anything but. I I, I saw the bull crap way before a lot a lot of these uh, his uh, fans did. Like because the same women who were who were uh, celebrating the death of Kevin Samuels was was a uh, was a uh, cheering on this dude uh, selling them a uh, selling them a uh, a box full of pipe dreams. The jokes on you. If you believe anything that Derek Jackson said, this dude was so full of it, it, it like you couldn't even smell the shit. That's how full of it he was. But that's all I wanted to say before this year was out.